Boo! You're watching part 22. Uh, what have I got myself into? Hi guys! Uh, welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's time to continue on the, uh, the Green Earth mission. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? As a reference, I'm not taking, I think. Eagle, are you sure about this? Can't you just talk to him? Andy is my eternal rival. He challenges me and I must accept. Uh-huh, and the bird suit? Gee, Jess, just stop it. You're ruining my grand entrance. Ugh, fine. I'll just go inform the mothers of the soldiers you're throwing away for this. <laughs> oh boy. So it kind of feels logical to do Andy versus Eagle, but I think Flak is honestly what we want here. Because he has better anti-aircraft guns. So we're gonna go with that. I don't think the dialogue of the mission changes much anyway, so... Mission 24, Coolness Factor. Is he gonna get in here already? Why am I even sitting here? Because I want a rematch with Eagle. It'll be fun, I promise. Hey guys, look up in the sky. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Wrong reference, Flack, but yes, and yes again. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? The shadow dancing in the sky. Shut up, Eagle. We want Hawk. We can do this the easy way. Actually, just attack. Who cares? Andy, whether you're really with Black Hole, I won't hold back. This really is a game to these people. W wait, what am I saying? <laughs> Okay, all right. Oh, okay, his HQ is like in the middle of a pipe. That's interesting. You'll have to blow everything up. That pipe looks impenetrable. That eagle sure is smart. I'd never have thought of that. <laughs> all right, well, this looks like a transport copter level if you ask me. There's multiple properties that we can uh, go get. So let's do that. Oh wow, we can get that base really quick. Well, better reset. <laughs> Let's do that again, shall we? Man, I come. That's, that's the quickest I've ever been beaten. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Okay. Let's try that one more time, shall we? Because that's actually kind of a big deal. Getting the base one turn later is like that's gonna matter a lot. There we go. Okay, so I'm assuming I want to... I'll move up with this infantry. I'll capture that city. This one doesn't look so hard. Apparently, though, I have been informed via the commons uh, that there is a hard mode campaign for this. Probably should have realized that right away. Okay, so I can get this base, and if I forego this building and land and go into this a copter, I should be able to get this base as well. And I can also do this. And why don't I just rush out a battlecopter? Probably a good idea. Eagle's probably gonna build battlecopters, I imagine. Yep, there's one. However, he might actually go for his own pipe seam. The AI in the in the in this campaign overall seems to always target his own pipe seams, which I can definitely use to my advantage. So uh, I guess I'll go for the airport next. So I'll do this, and I'll just like flood him with battlecopters. That seems like a good strategy, right? That's a cool trick. And I'll do this, and go get this one. I think going for the bases first is probably the smart thing to do here. I don't think I need more transport copters right now. I think I'm just gonna build air units from now on. Air units and uh, anti-air. Oh, looks like he just built a tank. All right, I'll grab this then. Don't mind if I do. I guess I'll send uh, this transport back to ferry some more infantry over here. I guess I can attack him. I mean, what is he gonna do, really? Can't really do much at all. He's probably gonna build an anti-air now, though. So let's go and capture here and take this base. We're gonna get those airports at some point as well. We can also load into that one. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep building uh, battlecopters. They're like, there's so much mountain between me and Eagle that any ground units are gonna take forever to get over there. And he hasn't built any Antares yet, and he still hasn't, so... Yeah, there's no reason why I can't just continue to harass him with uh, battlecopters. Ah, yeah, let's just go fuck up his capture game, shall we? 
My battlecopters will go down to 9 HP though, I think after the next infantry engagement, but it's not a big deal. So, what are we gonna build over here? I mean, I'm almost tempted to build a rocket, but I don't think it's a good idea. I think I'm just gonna build a regular tank, like so. Now, um... I'm guessing maybe I should just put these infantry down here. Or I could just do this, and then I can use that infantry. I could use that transport copter to transport my other infantry. Hmm. That infantry is probably going for the capture. So yeah, I'll just build another tank. Maybe an Antire too, because he's probably going to build some more battlecopters at some point. Oh, here we go. Alright, that kind of sucks, but I have a tank. Should be fine. Yeah, he really wants to blow up. It, it's hilarious, really, how much easier the missions are because of this little AI flaw. I don't know if it's easy to program AI, but if they don't attack their own factories during the campaign missions, it must be possible to make them do it here, too. I mean, seems like Ephraim 225 has a pretty good knowledge on hacking Advanced Wars. I don't know how hard it is. Probably really tedious, like most other hacking. Anyway, this battle, this, um, anti-air is kind of zoning me out now. So I'll need to get a tank in range somehow. Let's see. So this battlecopter will probably turn to attack me if I, uh, if I come within its range. I'm assuming he views a battlecopter as a, as a better target than a pipe seam. But I think it goes for the pipe seam if he doesn't have anything else to attack. Go, let's go get this one. And yeah, I think this is probably the turn we just build uh Yeah, this is probably the, the turn we just build Antire. Or flat cannons, unless I like to call them. They are so much better after all. I need to figure out if they have more defense or not. I'm not sure if they do. Oh, we can only afford one, but it's okay. Well let's get a recon out. Maybe another infantry. I don't know if there's any point to trying to... I'll go back and get another infantry from the base. Why not? Alright, let's see what the eagle does. Still blowing up his own pipe seam. That battlecopter is actually going to run out of ammo. Is this a wipeout? Almost. I think anti air needs to attack infantry on road to wipe them out in one turn. Oh no, not my transport copter. Oh, I should check if Eagle's changed on this patch. I haven't checked his air units yet. Eagle's pretty fine, though. I think he has 10% extra firepower and defense on Advanced Wars 2. And his air units consume 2 less fuel per turn. So his battlecopters actually never run out of um, uh, fuel. Actually, no, they do. I think they burn 3. They burn 1, I think. There you go. Let's uh, check him out. So, uh... I'm pretty sure that... No, is that 20? No, I, th I still think that's 10. His naval units are as bad as they've always been. Or is that 15? I don't know, man. That seems more than... I think that's 15. Not entirely sure, but it could be the case. Wait, weren't they always 15? W weren't they like 15, 10? Actually, ugh, I don't, I don't remember. I do not remember. I th I Eagle was always like a weird one. He changes a lot from game to game. Anyway, I'm gonna blow up your entire now. Bye. And that will allow my battlecopters. Okay, should I interrupt the camp or should I just wipe out? I think I'm just gonna wipe out the entire gun. Yay. Anti aircraft guns with 20% more firepower. Woo! Alright, sorry, buddy. You ain't getting the city. Oh, wait. You should be actually really close to capping it now. Nah, six left. That's fine. Beep, 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 beep. And then we... I think we simply do a little bit of our join cap here. Yeah, I think that's probably for the best. Of course, these rockets will be able to shoot at us now, so we should get two new flak guns out. Like so. Then we'll pick up this guy. Capture this city. What's our income right now? We earn more than him, so... It's only a matter of time before we win. Oh, that was actually a misclick. I didn't intend to do that. 
All right, I think we can turn off animations now. Uh, so let's see, uh, eagles, what's kind of, oh, wait a minute. I'm almost tempted to try a base block. I'm gonna leave that transport alone for now, I think. I'd much rather take out his infantry. So what I could do is I could ferry some mech, oh, never mind, I don't have any more. I don't, I have no money, ha ha ha. Aye, aye, aye. That hurt. Oh my god, he really wants to blow down that pipe seam. Holy shit. Alright, well, um, sayonara. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. I'd much rather have an airport. You know what? I don't think that was the greatest move. It's not, now it's gonna take me forever to cap this city. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just kill that rocket. I'm gonna go all out aggressive on this guy. Like so. You know what, that mech sounds tempting, but I think I'd much rather just go for the airport. There we go. Let's get more battlecopters up. And let's capture all of his properties. Yeah, this should be an easy win. Let's get another flat gun up. Unless he builds like a lot of tanks, I should be able to just shoot down his shit. Oh, will he lightning drive? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Lightning drive sucks in Advanced Wars 2. Unless it's changed, I should take a look, actually. Uh, yeah, no, it just it just improves the firepower and defense of all your units. It's really bad. In Dual Strike, Lightning Drive works like a mini Lightning Strike, like it did in Advanced Wars 1. Which is insanely good. Uh, Eagle is really hard to fight in Dual Strike, in my humble opinion. Because uh, even even if his units kind of suck for the duration of his little power, he still gets to take another move, which is extremely valuable. It's a huge mobility boost, even though it leaves him a little vulnerable. It definitely should. It's definitely a power you should think a little bit before popping, because there are some situations where popping it can be very dangerous. But um, overall, it's really good. You can use it to like reposition your artillery and stuff like that, put them in range for the next turn. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. That's gonna get shot down, I'm fairly certain, but I, I might as well give it a give it a go. And yeah, more battlecopters. That's what we're doing here. I think I might be able to go for the route, actually. I might actually be able you know what? Let's brute force and try to go for the route. I don't know if two tanks can take out an APC on an HQ. I probably will need to get a good roll. Because that APC has 40% extra defense, which is quite considerable. Anyway, I'm gonna use these transports to block his bases. That's a great way to use transports. And I'm not even gonna bother with the capture, because I think I, I can probably go for the route. Yes, I can. Oh yeah, I am fairly certain I can go for the route here. Route... Oh wait, before I go for the route though... Build a unit. There we go. Flash, what in the world? Hockey Poo, you're free now. I'm so glad you're okay. Flash, what is he doing here? What, Andy? He's my slave. Ignore him. Listen, Hawk. Black Hole is safe now. We can go home. You'll come home now, right? Yes. And Lash, thank you. Aw, we're freeing all the Black Hole CEOs. That's adorable. I like that. All right. Do I have a, to do I have to black storm you again, Lash? What? Why is Flax saying that? Isn't that so? Shouldn't Hawk say that? All right. Okay. So now we get three new missions, guys. Let's see what they are. R. There I said it. Shall we play the map now? <laughs> the unexpected rival battle and the expected victory. Ah. That's the last time I ever rely on Flak to complete a job. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, all right. Okay, well, let's see what we do next time, guys. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. See you guys tomorrow with another episode. Bye-bye.